So here comes a movie going straight to Netflix that I'm actually looking forward to. So let's take a look. Hey everybody, my name is Brandon, aka The Brando Critic, and on this channel, it's my job to point you in the direction of movies worth checking out. So if that interests you, make sure you hit like and subscribe, it's the best way to show your support for the channel. And I recently partnered with Movie Scene Canada, so make sure you check them out as well for the latest news, reviews, and reactions. But today, I'm here to tell you whether or not Rebecca, coming to Netflix on October 21st, is worth a watch today. Spoiler alert, I really enjoyed this one. I was actually surprised how much I enjoyed this one. Now to start off, I have not seen the original from Alfred Hitchcock back from the 40s, and I have not read the original book. But to explain Rebecca to someone who has never even heard of it before, think of it like a romance thriller, and if you got a bunch of other movies and put them in a blender, I'd put in Casablanca, Midnight in Paris, uh, remember Allied with Brad Pitt and Marion Cotillard from a couple years back? Put that in there too and then maybe The Great Gatsby. Mix all those together in a romance thriller type of story, and you have Rebecca. And what I liked about this movie was that it was a thriller, but it wasn't a thriller like Zodiac. It wasn't a thriller like Seven. It wasn't one of those Fincher type thriller movies. It's a thriller, but it's because it focuses on the relationship and the gaps of knowledge. This isn't really a big murder mystery with lots of blood and lots of infidelity and lots of murder. It's not one of those types of thrillers. It's a thriller because we have a somewhat Romeo and Juliet like situation with Lily James being the poor girl and then Army Hammer being the more rich character and then them falling in love in a really magnificent location. But then when real life starts and they actually start off their life together, you're like, okay, there's some gaps of knowledge here. People aren't always telling the truth. Who do I really trust in this new environment? That's where the thrills come from. But before I dive into that too much, I want to tell you guys that Rebecca is a beautiful looking movie. I was very impressed by the cinematography in many, many scenes. Of course, in the beginning half of the movie, they're in Monte Carlo, they're falling in love. This is a very romantic setting. The colors are vibrant. It looks amazing. But then when they go to Mandalay, then you go into the mansion, it looks really beautiful and it looks really elegant, but it also looks very dark and gloomy and it's still, you feel that sense of that unknown. You don't feel quite safe in this mansion and because there's a lot of dark colors, there's a lot of dark tones, there's a lot of sharp camera angles. This is a wonderfully shot movie and it looks very elegant, it looks very sleek and I watched it on my brand new TV and it looks just absolutely fantastic. So if you like to look at pretty images, this is a movie for you. And this movie also has a bunch of pretty actors. Lily James and Army Hammer are your two leads, and they have chemistry. Now, when you go into a romance movie, of course, you want your two leads to have great chemistry. And thank goodness, Lily James and Army Hammer are excellent in this movie. Lily James is more of our protagonist. We really see the movie through her eyes. She acts as that innocent vessel for us to attach to and move into the brand new world of the rich in the mansion and this whole other lifestyle that she is not accustomed to. Which brings us into the thriller part of the movie. Now, like I said in the beginning, it is extremely romantic. It feels very much like Romeo and Juliet. You have the two people, the two star-crossed lovers from two different social classes, and they fall in love, but that's not really the main focus of the movie. That's just the beginning. That's just how they meet. It's very Grease summer nights, right? It's very romantic. You know, have you guys ever met anybody when traveling? It's a very romantic feeling. But then that sudden love turns into the driving force for the thrills to come. Because Army Hammer's character, Mr. DeWinter, had a wife named Rebecca. And when Lily James marries him, you start to soon realize that Rebecca was a very prevalent character in his life and all of the lives of the people working at Mandalay, the giant mansion. And Lily James is trying to find her place in all of that. And it kind of reminds me of some people who can't let the past go. Like, have you guys ever talked to somebody who keeps talking about their ex? I know all of us have been guilty at it at one point, especially after a breakup, but it's like they're almost still here right? They're still brought up in conversation. Every single piece of furniture reminds us of that person, or they're still prevalent in everyone's lives. It is like living with a ghost. And Lily James has to try to maneuver through that, and it gets very tense. It feels almost suffocating. Even though no one's lives are in danger in this movie for the most part, and there's no, again, there's no big murders, there's no big mystery like that, there's not a lot of bloodshed or anything like that. It's not that kind of movie, but just going into a new circumstance. You do not know anyone in this mansion, and you are just some poor girl that just happened to capture the heart of the wealthiest man in 
however many miles. But there's a bunch of gaps of knowledge. You don't really know much about Rebecca or what happened or how she died or how Army Hammer's character, Mr. De Winter, is really handling it. And she's still trying to figure that out. And because of that, it gets really tense because we don't know who to trust, whose motives are really rational, who's telling the truth. That adds a lot of tension. The music helps too, right? The music is really good in this movie. But what I liked about this movie in particular is that you think it's going one way. You're like, okay, I know this character's motive. I know that this character is shady as hell. I can't trust them. Oh, wait a minute. We get this one new piece of information and they're like, okay, maybe I can trust this person, but then this person I can't trust. And then with that information, the movie moves forward and then it changes again. And I like that. It always keeps you on your toes. You don't really know what kind of movie you're going to get because some movies you're like, yep, I know how this is going to end right from the opening frame. Rebecca was not one of those movies. And I am so, so thankful for that. It's a movie that reminds us that nothing is as it seems. Nothing. You always need the second side of the story. You need to know all the information before you can make proper judgment. And honestly, at the end of the movie, I still don't think that she knows all of the information necessary to make the right judgment call. Now, before I give my rating, I just wanted to let you guys know that this movie does bring up an interesting topic, which I haven't really thought about too much yet, right? I still, I just watched this movie and I don't want to get into it too much because then I'd be spoiling it. But one of the themes in this movie is loving for love's sake versus loving opportunistically. And when you see the last shot, you think, okay, there's still another theme to this movie that we, they want us to think about, want us to explore on our own, which is loving opportunistically versus loving for love's sake, or is there such thing as true love? Is it all conditional, right? It's an interesting topic to discuss, and the film brings it up a couple times, right? So this film does have layers, and I do think that if I watch it again, I'm gonna find out even more about it, which, I mean, I, I'm all for that, right? So all in all, I'm gonna give Rebecca a four out of five. I was very impressed. Lily James, Army Hammer, they have great chemistry. It's a beautiful looking movie that has many twists and turns. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I hope that you guys do too. It comes to Netflix on October 21st. If you have seen it, let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section down below, and what is your favorite romance thriller movie? Leave those answers down in the comments, and if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more videos just like it, then definitely hit like and subscribe, and thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.